All right, JB, in this video, we're going to focus on one thing that you can do to get better as a pitcher, and the concept that we're going to focus on is dynamic balance. And dynamic balance is simply the ability to maintain balance while you're in motion. And we measure balance by how our head stays over our belly button, because as long as our head is over our belly button, our center of gravity, we're always going to be balanced. And as a pitcher, it's so important to stay balanced because it's going to allow us to deliver the baseball with great power without putting a lot of stress on our arm. So if you look at Kurt Schilling here, as he gets into his knee lift, you'll see, uh, oop, went a little too fast there. When he gets into his knee lift, you'll see where his head is at, eyes, and you're going to see where his belly button is at. And you're going to see that his head is directly over his center of gravity. And as he continues to thrust his weight, shift his weight towards home plate, and separate his hand, you'll see again, head, belly button. And as we continue forward, as he separates his hands and gets to a good arm slot, you'll notice again, head, belly button. And all the way through his delivery, until he starts to rotate, he's always able to maintain that dynamic balance. Now with that in mind, let's take a look at you on the left hand side. So here we are, and you start in a very good balanced position. Head is right over your belly button, which is great. But as soon as you lift your knee, you lose that balance. Notice what happens here. Belly button's here. Head's all the way back here. Take a look at the difference. And as we track you forward, and you start to separate your hands... Take a look at where your belly button's at, and take a look at where your eyes are at. When Kurt Schilling separates, there's a big difference. He's able to shift his weight towards home plate, and he's able to keep his head over his belly button. All right? And this is so important as a pitcher because when we're able to keep this dynamic balance, like I said before, we're not going to put all the stress on our arm. Instead, we're using our legs to create the power. And you can see here in this position, when your front foot lands, as opposed to when Kurt Schilling lands, you can see here how all your weight is back of center. And when all your weight is back of center like this, all the pressure and all the stress is on your arm. And that's exactly why you get a sore arm from time to time, because you're demanding a lot from your arm and not using your legs and your upper half a lot. In contrast, over here on the right-hand side, you can see that all of Kurt Schilling's weight is in the center of his body. He's able to shift his weight into his front leg so the pressure goes off of his arm and into his front side, his legs and his core. Okay. So another way to think about how to improve this besides just the idea of dynamic balance is think about it in terms of a leg thrust. Okay. So what I mean by a leg thrust is this. I'm going to go ahead and measure a little line here behind Kurt Schilling's back foot, his back knee, and his back hip. And you're going to see as a pitcher, he's going to gain separation from this line. He wants to create momentum towards home plate. He wants to get towards the plate as far and as fast as he possibly can. So he does that by driving off this back leg. Let's go ahead and watch. He gets to the top of his knee lift, and as soon as he gets here, he shifts that weight right there and look at now before he's even separated his hands now look at where his back knee is and look where his back hip is while he stays balanced so if we draw a line and measure this angle you can see that he's really driving off the inside of that back leg okay now if we look at you on the left hand side and we draw those same lines back foot back knee back hip and we get you to the same position here's where you separate your hands notice your back knee did not separate at all whereas Kurt Schilling's did a lot notice your back hip barely separated so really we're not doing anything in terms of leg drive here and look at the difference in your leg angle see all your weights back here Whereas with Kurt Schilling, all of his weights on the inside of his back leg. 
So that's the second way to think about improving your balance and your momentum so that you're putting less stress on your arm and getting more velocity. The last way to think about it is what we do with our front foot. Notice when Kurt Schilling lifts his knee, look at the position of his foot in relationship to his knee. Foot stays underneath the knee, toe stays pointed towards the second base. This helps him stay in balance. This helps him thrust with his back leg. Contrast with you, when you get to the top of your knee lift, take a look at where your foot is out here compared to your knee. Well, it's just really hard to stay balanced in this position. So what you're going to want to do instead is get your foot over here. Now that's going to be a lot easier to stay balanced. So those are some things to think about. Uh, let's work on those things and continue to get better as a pitcher because you have a lot of upside, a lot of potential. And as a varsity coach at West Bloomfield, I'm excited to work with you and excited to see you make these improvements.